Hey guys, it's Alex and Don from Top Guns at Terre Haute, Indiana and the Overweight Operator Series. We've had a lot of questions come in on the Overweight Operator Series on how we carry it, why in the different positions, and what's the most comfortable. So definitely stay tuned, we're going to test a couple options out. And we're excited to have a special guest today, one of our subscribers who wanted to help out with the Overweight Operator Series, and we're going to bring him in. His name is Todd. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to cover three different positions with these holsters today. We're going to look at appendix carry, kidney carry, and small to back, which across the board are probably the three most popular. So what's the criteria that we're going to grade these three different positions on? So we're going to grade this on a scale of one to ten. The first thing is comfortability. How comfortable is it? Number two, how quick can you draw from it? And number three, does the gun print? Those are three very important factors and something that definitely comes into play with an O-weight operator. So let's get started, guys. Let's go. I'm excited. So for the first test, we're actually going to be seated. This is appendix. Um, I'm, we're going to go through one to 10 on each test. So the very first test is going to be a seated position, kind of telling you how comfortable it is in a seated position. Then the second test is going to be uh, standing, seeing how it prints. And then the third test is quickness. So today I'm using a Linwood Spectre holster. I'm using my VP9 as usual. Uh, as for comfort on, on the holster and appendix, uh, I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10. Um, it is poking me a little bit on the underside of my gut, um, but overall it's not too bad, but I don't necessarily think it's something that I could get used to all the time. I know there's plenty of guys that do. Uh, so let's try out the second test to see if it prints. So for the next test is concealability. Um, yeah, you know, for a tight shirt like this, I don't really notice it a lot. Easy to kind of manipulate and move over to make it a little bit more concealable. As for printing, it doesn't print that bad at all. So when it comes to concealability, I'm going to give it an eight out of 10. I don't really notice it a whole lot. For the third test, uh, again, we're going to be at paints carrying. Uh, I'm using a Linwood holster. Uh, Don's going to have the shot timer. I'm going to shoot two shots and we're going to reveal the times to kind of show you how quick it is. Uh, again, guys, we know this is going to be a case by case and, and you know, a uh, holster by holster basis also. Here we go. Are you ready? So I've got the Masaro American Purebred holster uh, in appendix carry right now. And as far as comfortability, it's comfortable. I'd probably give it a six. The only concern I have about it is that it's got a foam back on it, and I typically don't wear an undershirt. So with that up against my skin, over time it may irritate it a little bit. As far as print, does it print? I would have to, now I've got a t-shirt on, so it is going to print a little bit, but the one thing I like about it is that the clips are very small, so to the educated person, they necessarily can't see that I've got a holster on. Um, so as far as it, it, does it print, I would give it a nine. So with the Masaro holster, I've got it tucked in. I always keep my shirt tucked in. So I'm one of the few that normally carries appendix. I've carried Advantage for several years. Today, I'm using the Phase Line Swoop. I actually like it a lot. Now this one has the extra mag carrier that actually wraps around a little more. To me, it is comfortable. Um, but then again, I carry appendix. So I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. So as far as printability goes, I don't think this prints very badly. Now you can see it poking out just a little bit on the side. This rides a little bit higher than what my Advantage does. And it comes out to the side just a little more because of the extra mag carrier. But all in all, standing here, I don't think too many people are going to be able to pick this out from any kind of distance. All right, I'm going to go ahead and test the speed of draw on the phase line swoop. So I'm a little biased on this holster that we're getting ready to use. Um, so this is actually the Top Guns hybrid holster. Um, there's a lot more that you guys will be able to see about that in a later video. Um, this is the one I carry every single day and by far this is the one I like it the most. Um, so I usually wear it somewhere between three to four o'clock, not necessarily exactly three, it's probably around closer to four. 
Um, as for comfort, by far it's the most comfortable thing I've ever had on. Um, it, it's mostly because of the leather on the backer. It goes up over my gut and, um, and I n never even notice it's there in most cases. So for comfort, and again guys, I'm a little biased on this, this is a nine or 10 out of 10 for me. As for concealability, this, this is a tighter sweatshirt. I usually, again, don't use this, uh, this type of sweatshirt. Usually I have a button up on. Concealability, it's super nice. You can barely see it at all. So I will probably give this one, again, a nine out of 10 uh, for concealability. All right, guys, I'm using the Top Guns Hybrid Holster. Again, you can pick this up online or here locally. Uh, this is the holster I carry every single day. So we're going to put two rounds on and see how it goes. So I'm wearing the Stealth Gear Vent Core holster at the 3 o'clock position. As far as comfortability goes, it's comfortable. Uh, on the back of the holster, it actually has a mesh, so it actually feels really good up against my skin. For comfortability, I would give it a 7. As far as concealability goes, it still prints, but again, I'm wearing a t-shirt. Um, but And also at the 3 o'clock position, it's going to print a little bit less or I'll be able to hide it more than with the appendix carry. So I would give it a score of seven. Again, I'm wearing the Stealth Gear Vent Core, and now we're going to see how easy is it to draw from the holster, how quick can I draw from the holster and get the target. All right, so I have a priority one inside the waistband holster. I'm carrying it at three o'clock position. Uh, sitting position, it is not overly comfortable. Um, not nearly as comfortable as appendix, which is what I'm used to, which may be part of it. Um, it is digging a little bit. It's a bit of a high ride holster, so it's kind of pushing into the side, sitting back at this angle. Um, in a sitting position, I'm gonna give it about a All right, so as far as printing goes, this actually isn't bad at all. I can't really see anything. Now the black shirt helps, obviously but I don't think this prints bad at all. Standing, it is much more comfortable. Being the high-rise holster, I actually think this will be fairly quick as well, but we'll find out out here in a few minutes. I'm gonna go with uh, eight. All right, so now we're gonna do a, a speed test on the priority one that I'm carrying inside the waistband at the three o'clock position. All right guys, so we're carrying behind the back on this one uh, all the way at the six o'clock position. And uh, I, I think the holster's fantastic, but as for the carry position, uh, I don't really like it at all. There's a couple of reasons why. Um, one being is when I'm sitting down, it, it's kind of pushing up a little bit. Um, second, it's gonna be hard to actually get a hold of, especially in the seated position. And then three, it, in any open back chair like this, it, it's gonna catch whenever you try to sit up, you know, kind of have to lean forward. So um, as for comfort though, I'd probably give it a six out of 10 overall. All right, so as for concealability, you know, if you're looking straight on, it, you know, it's pretty concealable. Um, you're never gonna notice it. Uh, but, you know, I don't like having to know that I'm not in control of it all the time. Uh, you can kind of see here, it does print a little bit. I'm sure it's gonna print uh, if, you know, you're bending over or something like that, it'll poke out of the back. Um, so as for concealability, again, I'm gonna probably be somewhere about that five or six out of 10. So again, I'm using the Advantage left-handed holster. Again, small the back, so we're gonna try this out for quickness. All right, for the small of the back, I chose to go with a sticky holster. Now, the reason I chose the sticky is because it's naturally pliable. With all the other hybrids and everything you look at, they're more rigid. With that small inset in the, in the small of your back, it's gonna naturally curve a little more. I don't mind carrying back here. It's very comfortable. Uh, in a seated position, I'd probably give it an, an eight out of 10. 
Okay, now as far as concealability goes, uh, I think this is going to conceal fairly well. Since you have that natural end curve, think, well, I'm standing here in just a natural position. I don't think you're going to be able to see that holster. You're going to have to be the judge because I can't see behind me. And one of the biggest problems with the small of the back holster is anytime you go to bend over to do something, the first thing that happens is that gun starts to protrude. The bigger the gun you have, the more you're going to print. Another downside to the small of the back holster is the fact that if I get in a confrontation, I have to go all the way to the rear of my body to get that gun and come all the way to the front. It's not just for me as a carry position, but as far as concealability, I think it's probably a nine. So we've talked about comfortability and concealability. Let's see how fast we can draw from the small of the back with the sticky holster. So we did a lot of testing today, and, and again, that's just our opinion. Um, I hope this helps you out whenever maybe you go to your local gun shop and, and pick out a holster or a position. So Don, in, in general, what was your favorite holster and what was your favorite position? Well, again, I'm sticking with the Penix carry. The other positions were okay. The three o'clock was all right. Uh, small the back, just not for me, but I'm really comfortable uh, with the Penix carry. The phase line that I tried today um, has the extra mag carrier on it. It's called the Swoop. Love it. That's a great holster. Um, very, very comfortable. So those, that's my pick for holster and position. All right, Todd, so what do you think? So I had the Masaro, I carried that at the uh, appendix. Then I had the, the Stealth Works that I carried at Stealth, Stealth Gear. Gear. I'm sorry, Stealth Gear that I had at uh, three o'clock. And I really didn't have a favorite over one or the other. Um, it's the position that I like. But I'll be honest with you, the holster that I like the best and that I carry every day that uh, I didn't review today is the Top Gun branded holster. Right, same I, one I carry. That I carry to And again, guys, that's just not a, a shameless plug or something. We really, really like this holster, especially for guys our size. Um, and, and again, we'll get into another video on why we like that down the road. So my favorite holster today, um, again, I would have to go with the holster that, that, I, that I carry every day, which is the Top Gun's line. Again, that's at the four o'clock position. Um, it's by far the most comfortable for myself. So Todd, we'd like to thank you for helping us out with this, this video, definitely. And if there's any guys out there that would want to help us out with future videos, don't hesitate to comment down below or message us directly. So thanks again, guys, for watching Overweight Operator here at Top Guns. See ya. We're going to go get something to eat.